YouTube, I'm Olivia, welcome to DigiTales. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the brand new PSVR. So we've got everything we need here. We've got the PlayStation 4, we've got the PlayStation Move controllers, uh, we've also got the camera, and we've also got a couple of games to try out. So we've got uh, VR Worlds for the PlayStation VR, and also we're gonna do a full review for you guys of Battlezone. So let's start off with the PlayStation Move controllers. Now, these are the exact same controllers that were with the, the PS3, so the product itself hasn't actually changed at all, but they have given it a new box uh, to go along with the PS4 and also mentions PSVR on the front right there. There's the first one. This is the wire that goes with it to make sure you don't, you know, smash your TV or knock someone out while you're playing. Uh, and there's the second one, exactly the same. Okay, we've got a couple of cables. And that's everything in the box. Next, we've got the new PlayStation camera, which um, was made for the PlayStation VR in mind. This is a new camera. Uh, we do know that if you have the old camera for the PS3 or the PS4, it will still work with PSVR, so you can still use it. Okay, so we've got a box inside the box. We've got PS camera manual. Right, so there's the camera. It's quite small actually, it's quite small. Okay, so this is the new PlayStation camera. What else do we have in here? Uh, that looks like a mount to keep on. Always useful. Then we've got the games. <laughs> I'm totally ruining my nails doing this. <laughs> right, Battlezone game. There we go. And VR Worlds. Okay, and there we have it. That's the PS. VR, VR Worlds game. Cool, looking forward to that one. And finally, we are at the main event. Okay, I feel like I need a drum roll or something. There we go, let's open the box. Ooh. Okay, this is quite cool. Right, I'm gonna take this box out because this looks interesting. It doesn't look like your average box. It looks like we open it like this. Oh, that's quite nice. I'll just show you guys what it looks like actually when you open up. It's nice, I actually really like the colour. Good. Okay, so this is the, looks like the quick start guide. It's got lots of little compartments and boxes. It's like, yep, okay, so that's the plug. Quite neatly packed away like a jigsaw puzzle. Okay, it's got another box. Open this one up. Okay, this looks like cable tidy box. Quite a few wires in this one. One, two. Well, those are like some headphones actually. Okay, cool. It's got some nice headphones. Comes with it. That's the box. I like it. It moves. I'm once again surrounded by boxes. <laughs> I feel like I spend my life like this. Okay, we've got some instruction manuals. Oh, okay. So this is the VR demo disc. We can have a bit of a play around with that as well. Ooh, screen cleaner. Okay, some more big cables. I'm assuming these are like HDMI cables and looks like it might power it. And then finally, here we go. Let's make room for this one. This looks really cool, doesn't it? Do do do, do do do. Doesn't work yet, but I like it. I like wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we've unboxed it all, so now um, let's play some games, let's try it out. <laughs> We're all set up, um, got everything plugged in. There is a lot of wires with this thing, I'm going to have to figure out some uh, magical wire hiding trickery. Uh, to try and tidy that up. But now we're going to try out the new Battlezone game by Rebellion. Um, I'm quite excited about trying this. My producer got to try out EGX a couple weeks ago, but I was playing on London Heist, so uh, I'm looking forward to giving this a bit of a go. I have heard that it can give you a bit of motion sickness, but uh, because I've had quite a bit of experience with the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive, 
alive. I'm hoping I'll be okay. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, Rebellion. Jeez, that they say our me planet drop. is lost. Maybe. Robot armies destroyed our cities. Artificial intelligence has it taken over our world. <laughs> it's happened. Insert combat operative identification nexus. Play online, play offline. Vehicle selection. Do I want a heavy tank? I oh, guess I want a heavy tank. This is looking pretty cool, I have to say. I just I want to touch stuff though. I don't want to use a controller. Yeah, I know. I'll press X. Ooh. Okay, straight away, this is this is Tron music. I'm basically in Tron. This is happening. <laughs> it looks amazing. Hello, Robot Man. So what do I shoot with? Okay. Ooh. I can see why people might get a bit motion sickness. The music is awesome in this game. Okay, now he's dying. Defeating enemies releases data. Some is awarded immediately. The rest must be retrieved. Okay, now I'm getting it. Here we go, there's another one. What? It's like um, Tron mixed with, uh, you know those Mario Kart, like the battle games. It feels like that. <laughs> but bigger and crazier. And there's no balloons. That was a big boom. <laughs> that was awesome. What's that? What's this? What's that? Ammo! Up um. No! You sneaky mofo. Ah! It's a good weapon. I like this weapon. Towers. What? Stay out of sight what the hell are you? And shoot them at long range. What the? Oh. oh my god. There's two of them. There's a flying one. How do you stay out of sight? Where do you go? No, nope, that's not good either. <laughs> Can I blow you up? I think I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, I died. Okay. So, that was good fun. I wasn't very good at it my first go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was a really good game. Um, it was interesting. I do feel slightly motion sick, ever so slightly, but I'm sure it'll go away in a few minutes. Um, and I wasn't playing for that long, so I don't know what it'd be like if I was playing it for like a full hour or something. Um, but yeah, otherwise I think it was um, a pretty cool game, interesting graphics, great music, really good experience, did feel really immersive, um, you know, there's a bit of nostalgia thrown in there, felt like there was a couple of things we could connect that to. I really want to do online mode, I want to do multiplayer mode, I think that could be a lot of fun, that will definitely give it that whole uh, kind of Mario Kart, like ultimate Mario Kart battle zone slash Tron feel to it, which I think would be really cool. So uh, yeah, once we've got that up and running and got some friends that also have a PSVR, we'll, um, we'll give that a go too. I want to do a quick comparison uh, between the uh, PSVR with the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. Um, just some initial thoughts after having experienced all three of them and after obviously just playing on PSVR. So I think uh, in general the, the experience of the PSVR was really good. Um, one thing I would say is that the headset was, was very comfortable to wear. It is heavier than the Rift, uh, but I think with both the Rift 
and the HTC Vive, they've got this uh, felt foamy bit, right, which presses right against your face when you're wearing it. PSVR hasn't done that, it kind of rests more right in front of your face, uh, which I think works quite well, especially like if you're playing quite an active game and you build up a bit of a sweat, it does happen, <laughs> it's kind of gross. Um, you don't really want to pass that on to somebody else to have a play with it. So I actually, I prefer that, that it just rests there in front of you. And I think it also even makes it slightly more immersive experience because it doesn't feel like you've got something sitting on your face. One of the things I have to say is that when I was playing Battle Zone, I kind of felt like I was calling out for some controllers to play with. Because um, when you're in that tank, you just kind of feel like you want to grab a hold of the levers and actually start doing stuff and just makes it feel a bit more immersive. And one of the things I love about the HTC Vive is actually the controllers it comes with. Uh, when you're playing some of those games, like what's the game called when you're swinging through the trees, whatever. It's amazing. You feel like Spider-Man, right? When you, with, with this thing. Um, just really makes it feel like a better experience, makes it feel a lot more immersive. So I think, you know what, they've all got pros and cons. I think my favourite is still got to be the HTC Vive. It's got to be. Um, but in general, the PSVR is a really great experience. Um, I think it's the first VR headset that has the um, potential to really, you know, go into more kind of family homes. It's going to become more of a, you know, that, that Christmas present item. They do differ quite a bit in price. It's pretty typical of me to like the most expensive one. <laughs> so the, uh, the HTC Vive comes in at 799. The Oculus Rift comes in at 699. And the PSVR only comes in at 399. Um, but unless you already have the motion controllers and the camera, uh, it actually ends up being a total package of about 499 but it still comes in at the low lowest out of the three of them. That's the wrap for today on our unboxing and review of the PSVR and on Battle Zone. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel and also share the videos that you like. Next week we're going to be doing a review of one of our new favourite anime shows, ReZero. So shout out to one of our subscribers, Ash K, for recommending it. Uh, great recommendation. We're going to be doing a bit of a review of some of the characters and the storyline. And I'm also going to be dressing up as one of the characters for Comic-Con in a couple of weeks time, the 29th of October. So we're going to be doing a bit of a review of the costumes and the items that we've had delivered from various different sources. Um, so yeah, keep watching!